Hello and welcome back to my channel where today we're going to be continuing with Wednesday. Last episode was the big dance and I have to say um, Wednesday's dancing skills for some reason stole my heart. So at the very least it's a, it's a good Wednesday interpretation. Uh, as far as the monster and everything goes, I'm pretty sure that the teacher is in on it or at least I'm suspicious of her. You know, the way last episode ended it just was like, hmm, why are you there? It's... That's a little sussy. But ultimately, I'm just having a whole lot of fun with these characters, their interactions, and I'm looking forward to seeing where this all goes because we only got a couple episodes left. We're already halfway through the series. So without further ado. That doesn't look suspicious at all. Oh yeah, and I forget, like, the principal is a shapeshifter. Could she have shapeshifted into the monster? Seeing you in handcuffs, accused of murder. I've never loved you more. God, I'm here. Mon cher. Nevermore was created as a safe haven for our children. So we're gonna see all the, all the kids' family and their probable problems with their parents. Probable problems. Probable problems. But I'm happy to report that Eugene is on the mend and is expected to make a full recovery. Oh yeah, Eugene. I thought they were talking about Rowan, but everyone thinks he's alive. I'm surprised he survived though. Just a little guy with that big monster. And the reason he's in the hospital. That is not your fault, okay? The monster hasn't attacked anyone in the past week. You know, Enid, if you had just accepted Eugene's invite to the dance, he would have gone to the dance and he wouldn't have been out in the woods and he would have gotten attacked. So really, this is all Enid's fault. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love Enid too. So how's the little fella doing? Does he still have all his fingers? Relax. I haven't snapped any of his digits. Yet. Good. If you did anything to Thing, I wouldn't be able to forgive you. God damn it. My headphones are on backwards again. Every time. Every time. It says little R in there for right, little left. L for left, but I just, I forget every time. I am looking at your goddamn headphones again. <laughs> every week you put them on backwards. Gabrielle hasn't shown her face since I started here. Probably sunning herself somewhere in the seashells. My darling daughter. Ooh. You know there's always a problem with the relationship when they refer to their parents as their first name. Do you remember when we did that duet for the Solstice Talent Show? Your Judy Garland impression was a dead ringer. May I borrow this for the weekend? That way Gomez and I can take a little walk down memory lane. Ooh, just dangling it right in front of her. <laughs> Dr. Kimbert and I have spoken, and we both agree it would be most beneficial for you all to attend a family session this weekend. No. <laughs> That's going to be great, huh? At least they care enough about Wednesday to go to therapy with her. Boom. You know Reggie, the local coroner? He just blew his brains out. Or did he? Probably didn't. I mean, for me, it, it's been hard. Who is that kid? He looks so familiar. I don't know. Who's the actor? I never thought I'd miss being waterboarded so much. <laughs> Wednesday, stop. This is neither the time nor the place. Actually, this is exactly the place. These sessions Doctor, are... this does not concern you. <laughs> and I refuse to debate a decades-old witch hunt with you right now. I... I... Darling, maybe we no. should... No. This session is over. Hmm. I'm not used to seeing Morticia all... flustered. It's interesting. Thanks for the... candy. Actually, that's potpourri. I, why don't you take the bowl? Classic Crazy Adams. And I don't want to see any more morning song bracelets anywhere near this town. My siren song is drying up. Recruitment numbers are way down and the wrong people are starting to ask questions. This wasn't a request. You haven't made squat. Bianca. 
You're just scamming a higher class of people, but they're not your friends. Sooner or later, they will see through you. What a bitch. Well, it's good to know that everyone has issues with their parents, huh? The bees miss you, Eugene. We all do. Aw. Thanks for keeping an eye on him. It's honestly warming my heart to see her care about her friends so much, you know? Gun was legal and registered in his name, Colt 45. And two zigzag? <laughs> Guess you never really know what's going on through someone's mind. A bullet, apparently. Damn it, I was gonna make the joke. He felt guilty about an old case. Says he covered it up, faked the coroner's report, and has been living with that guilt for all these years. I always thought they were covering up the truth. Now I got my proof. Proof? I mean, it's a handwritten confession, but it might not be his hand. Somebody could be framing him. Naturally. I'm surprised she didn't eat it, honestly. We need to tell her. She'll never believe us. Maybe there was a cover-up. Well, that is a disappointment. That's me. Huge disappointment. Make another check for the mommy issues column. We got Wednesday, Enid, Bianca. In the daddy issues column, we have Tyler and um, Xavier. <laughs> You're under arrest for the murder of Garrett Gates. For the right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. That's embarrassing. Right in front of the whole school. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, thing is still the best. I'm not even gonna question how he was able to crawl up flat glass like that. Is he Spider-Man? Is Thing like a Spider-Man hand that he lost in battle? Prove me wrong. Garrett was infatuated with your mother. He mistook her kindness for interest. Okay. So he was a simp. Garrett was a simp. Confirmed. Your mother and I stepped out to catch our breath. <laughs> it looks like they're about to be short of breath, if you know what I mean. <laughs> my life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> Driven by jealousy and hate. <laughs> Garrett was unstoppable. Uh, so he had given in to the dark side of the force. He kind of looks like Anakin. <laughs> My survival instinct kicked in. But then there's the matter of his tells. The way he smooths his mustache. The way he delivers a comforting wink. Garrett Gates' family deserves closure. Even if none of them are around to take comfort in it. What happened to them? His mother hung herself in the backyard. His father drank himself to an early grave. And even his little sister didn't escape. She was orphaned, sent overseas. Ended up drowning. Hmm. Drowning as... Especially overseas. Drowning overseas. That's kind of a... Up in the air. The other two... More plausible. Canthropy summer camp. Canthropy summer camp. So camps for like canthropy conversion? Oh, no need to be dramatic, ain't it? Don't you want to wolf out and finally be normal, honey? Uh, Father packed your favorite bait. Like heads or something? Shrunken heads? Of course, grenades. Obvious fake Hollywood grenades, by the way. The grenades I always worked with were always just rounded. Sides of like a billiard ball or something. Also, grenades also have a safety pin you have to swipe. Swipe out, pull pin, hold, throw. Pin comes out when you throw. You got five seconds. I'll never live up to your legacy here. So why try? Yeah, but you can do something your mother hasn't done. That is, raise the greatest colony of bees this world has ever seen. I doubt she did that. Father didn't kill Garrett Gates, did he? No. He was even foaming at the mouth. Jesus. Psycho. That's what simping gets you. 
Don't waste your money on Twitch. <laughs> well, maybe it wasn't rage at all. Foaming saliva, dilated pupils, mental confusion. What are those all textbook symptoms of? Syphilis. Moment of truth. He's gone. He's the monster. Oh, well, nope. Ooh. You can post bail in the oh, God. Oh. The long arm of the law could keep us up. Poor Wednesday. If she turns around Wednesday and pushes herself against the bars, get the hell out of there. Garrett was dying. Before you stabbed him. You look even more ravishing at the next day, my man. Also, I don't think that really clears people, because, like, if you go and kill someone who has dying in cancer, you're still a murderer, right? Ah! Oh. So it happened, like, literally seconds before he was stabbed. He wasn't just trying to kill father. He was going to use the nightshade poison to murder the entire school. That blue sheen is a telltale sign of nightshade poisoning. But you already knew that, didn't you? Because back when you were sheriff, you were in charge of the case and covered it up. Oh, okay. That's why he was able to get off. Okay, duh. Stupid. <laughs> get off. What do you want? All charges drop. My father will be released immediately with a full and unequivocal apology from the sheriff's office. <laughs> oh, he's not going to like that. And also, uh, buy me a Snickers bar. People need to throw that kind of stuff in there. Just get a little little extra, you know? Free Snickers. No, Reese's. Reese's big cup. Be careful, Wednesday. Goody was a witch of great strength. But her vengeance pushed her too far, and even she couldn't save herself. Ooh, ominous. Ooh, ooh, this is gonna be good. Oh, well, I, I guess it wasn't that crazy. <laughs> All right, well, that's solved. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not going. Not this summer, not ever. <laughs> if I'm meant to wolf out, then I'm going to do it on my own timeline and not yours. Boom. Boom, ja. <laughs> Aww. I'm proud of you, kiddo. He speaks. But after this, you and Morning Song are out of my life. Forever. So, Bianca's mom is basically a cult leader that she can entrance people with her siren song and get, like, their money and stuff. That's really, it's really screwed. Makes sense for that to be a situation. But basically, this is all just a convoluted way to show that she, in the end, is basically just a Twitch thought. This, this episode's crazy. We had a simp, and we had a Twitch thought. Hug? Hug? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, that's probably about as good as we're ever gonna get from Wednesday. Oh, there's going to be a new clue in there or something, right? Yep, new clue. Not only did you impersonate Judy Garland, you became her. Oh. Oh, yeah, obviously. That that was such good setup for that. I did what I needed to do to shield the school from controversy and protect its students from harm. Tell that to Eugene. How are you protecting him? Again, I love her being so caring for her friends, really. Fire will rain. Hoo hoo hoo, ominous. This is an ominous episode. In case you're wondering, I don't hold seances very often. I can barely tolerate the living. Why would I want to commune with the dead? Preach, girl, preach. Oh my god. Hang on one second. Alright, I don't want to hear any judgment from you guys, but she was holding a crystal, and I I have one too. <laughs> it was a gift, like, years ago. I completely forgot about it until I saw it in her hand. Amethyst, apparently. I don't know. Again, no judgments from you judgy people out there. Alright? 
Maybe Goody answered you after all. Goddamn, look at her lifts on those shoes. They're like that thick. They're almost as thick as my co- Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday to- <sighs> Oh my god, Thing had a little hat. That is adorable. <laughs> he has a little hat. Wait, it's Latin. Hat, <laughs> come. The path of a raven is a solitary one. You end up alone, unable to trust others. Only seeing the darkness within them. Is that supposed to scare me? It should. <laughs> also, they didn't invite Tyler to that little birthday surprise thing. It's kind of bullshit. Can I at least get some kudos for pulling one over on you? The subterfuge was impressive. <laughs> yeah, she gotta give kudos. It's gonna be terrible. Oh. I thought it was gonna be something pink. I suggest we wait for a more special occasion. Like a funeral. Oh. I didn't realize we were back on speaking terms. I showed up to your surprise party. I figured that would have been a hint. What'd you see? Who said I was ready to speak with you? Boom. Boom, Jeff. Get out of here, Xavier. And honestly, I'm surprised she hasn't looked into the teacher yet. I thought that was pretty obvious, suspicious coincidences from the dance. After he left, this woman in the next booth told me about this self-help app. Morning song. Eee. So he could help me refocus my life. So it was, they made an app for that? Do they have to like record their siren song thing? And it plays over the app or something? And that entrances people? I'll be at the weather vane later if you want to stop by. Maybe we can exchange notes on self-improvement. Mm, I don't know if I trust him. Well, uh, um, mm. he did start to turn over a leaf at the dance. So maybe it's genuine. It probably is. But I don't want him with Bianca because I need Bianca to go back to Xavier. So there's no way that Xavier will end up with Wednesday because I don't want... Xavier with Wednesday. I don't like them together. It's not gonna be candy. Ugh. <laughs> Spiders. Ugh. Ew. Get him off, you, you psychopath. Ugh. Spiders. I want to assure you I remain as cold and heartless as the first day we met. I don't believe that. I doubt a cold, heartless person would be sitting by her friend's bedside feeling some modicum of guilt for his condition. I didn't yep. You're changing Wednesday. And it's adorable to watch, honestly. <laughs> What's up with the flowers? Why are we focusing on the flowers? Are the flowers ominous? This just arrived from London. Copy of an old death certificate you requested. Oh, the, the about the gates drowning. So yeah, I think it's the, uh, the sister. So if I asked you out to a non-birthday song-free dinner, would that be something you're interested in? I have a tight deadline. Ah, come on. I just feel like ever since the Raven, you've kind of been ghosting me. Am I wrong? I guess I got my answer. Ah, I hope he's not the monster, but he probably is. Please don't be the monster, Tyler. I don't bury hatchets. In skulls? I sharpen them. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought she was gonna be like, except in skulls. <laughs> Awkward. Again, he can make his paintings come to life, right? After the dance, I just wanted to forget about you, but I couldn't. Stop it. So I started painting, and that's what came out, all right? Mm -mm. I feel like it's the only time I get to see the real you. Nope. I'm not going to buy any connection between you two. Just not. All right, Wednesday. Bold strategy. All right, what's gonna happen? Oh! Call 911! Jesus. There was quite a bit of blood coming up. It didn't look like he got hit with that much speed, you know? And all signs point to the Gates family in that house. The gates fit. Yeah, no, they're all dead, every last one of them. The sister. It has to be the sister. 
She's the only one where her body couldn't have been confirmed by them, you know? Drowned overseas, it's the sister. So you're only looking out for my best interests? Always. I think we're a lot alike. We aren't. <laughs> that has an extra layer of funny because that's Christina Ricci, the original Wednesday from the Addams Family movies back in the 90s. I can't deal with this right now. I gotta get to the hospital. I gotta check on the mayor. Ah, just talk to your son, dude. What happened to the mom? Did they say? Was it just an accident or what? Sickness? <laughs> if only there were a way for us to get off campus and have a little birthday redo. Just two best friends. Too bad the school is on lockdown. Uh, she's manipulating both Enid and Tyler. That's not going to go well with either of them, is it? Gee. <laughs> oh, you crazy psycho woman. I thought we were going on a date. I thought this was a girl's night out. There's been a change of plans. Awkward. You guys in here? Don't peek into a lady's room, you creeper. This is pointless. Can I try? <laughs> oh. Take that, patriarchy. Why did Goody lead me here? Because they're not long gone and one of them's alive. It's the sister and she's somebody that we already know, probably. Probably the teacher. Who doesn't have a spooky built-in altar in their family library? Ours is in the living room. More seating for year-long Dia de los Muertos. Yeah, I know what that is. I saw Coco. All right, Tyler, you check the rest of the ground floor. Enid and I will search upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, screw that. I don't want to be on my own in this place. You don't split up. That's... Uh, that's exploring haunted houses 101. Well, it's not haunted. It's old, I guess. Old houses. Abandoned houses 101. You go left, I go right. You seriously want to split up? In here. Again. That is literally how every best friend dies in a horror movie. Yes, thank you, Enid. The bed's made. No dust or cobwebs. That's... Extra creepy. She died 25 years ago, drowned overseas. Or... I was gonna say a joke and then a high noise scared me. Right, get out, it's here! The dumb waiter. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Okay, there was a lot to unpack right there that just happened. First of all, I saw the flowers in the room, which is suspicious. Maybe it's the psychiatrist, actually. But I'm... Still suspicious of the teacher. Because she also does flower stuff. Like, she's the teacher of... You know, she has flower lessons. Also, living in that house the way it is, but cleaning your room and making it all perfect, that is the creepiest shit, by the way. Like, yeah, Laurel's insane. And also, Tyler just got attacked? Like, what the hell? Come on! <laughs> Okay. Where'd you come from? Wait. Here. Take this. Okay, well, when I saw the monster, I was like... <laughs> I saw his hair, first of all. His hair looked just like Tyler's, so... <sighs> Why? I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. And, you know, look at those tiny scratches. That, that could have just been something simple to throw off suspicion. Because, <sighs> I mean, everyone else has been, like, slashed to hell and in a coma or dead, but he just gets little scratches. From this point forward, you are forbidden from seeing Tyler, and you are forbidden from pursuing anything to do with this case. Understood? You should know better about teenagers by now. If you forbid them to do anything, they're just gonna want to do it more. said I was destined to destroy the school. But I think I'm meant to save it. Now you know what's at stake. Everything you've had to protect, no less. I think I deserve another chance. Please. Remember the first episode where she was doing whatever she could to get out of this school? But now, 
she's doing whatever she can to stay here. She's even saying, please. That's called character growth. Ooh. Where are you going? Yoko's room. Thornhill said I could crash there for a few nights. I've tried really, really, really hard to be your friend. Always put myself out there, thought of your feelings. Feelings. You want to be alone Wednesday? Be alone. Oh, shit. Goody warned oh. that I was destined to be alone. Maybe it's inevitable. But for the first time in my life, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Aww. Watching her evolve is very, very sweet, in a way. Uh -huh. Wait. Tyler was in that picture, so he couldn't have taken that, right? And when Mayor Walker got too close to the truth, he was silenced. But I won't be. So whoever is watching me, know this. I will find you. I'm watching you. You can find me Wednesday. I'd welcome you. Tyler was in that photo, but he looks like the monster. Or at least the hair. The hair really sells it that it's Tyler for me. And pretty sure it's Laurel. Has to be somebody that's actually behind this. So, could be two people? I don't know. I don't know. Well, there's only like two more episodes left, so we won't have to wait long to find out.